guys, so I'm about to braid my hair for this protective style. Well, the cat's out the bag now. I'm doing crochet curls. So first thing I need to do is braid my hair up. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is have about six braids in the back, but um, connect it to smaller braids in the front, just so I have a little bit more coverage up front. I'm also going to be braiding my hair not very tight when I do my crochets I want them to be relatively um, loose so that the hair can easily I can easily you know put the hair through it like crochet it through it and it's not like tugging and it's not too much tension and I'm also going to leave out some of my shorter hair in the front and baby hair just so that I can have some hair to kind of slick down and push to conceal my braids. So that's what I'm doing now. I want to switch up my parts or switch up my style I have a little bit more versatility first let me just share with you guys the hair that I'm going to be using She's a little frizzy because I washed her. I decided to wash her. Um, the instructions that came with the hair, as well as the reviews on, um, I got this off of Instagram, not Instagram. I got this hair off of Amazon. The reviews and the instructions that came with the hair suggested that you wash it first before you install it. Sometimes when you use synthetic hair, they coat it with like different kinds of chemicals and stuff. And so that kind of washes away some of the chemicals. And sometimes those chemicals can react and irritate your scalp and it just makes you want to take the hair out sooner than you would have wanted to. So that's why I washed it. Um, and it, you know, it added a little bit of frizz, but it's nothing that's not realistic. So I wanted the style to kind of look realistic. It's, the brown is a little bit lighter than my hair texture, but this is, I wanted ombre too. And this was the only option I could find with ombre. Um, so yeah, this is my first time trying out this hair as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be braiding kind of loose, not too tight. So when I do my crochets, I braid um, the ends of my previous braid into the next braid, which I will be showing you guys. But um, I am starting my second braid, which is going to be, it's going to stop where my, I want my part to stop and braid that down a little. And then I'm going to start and the next braid and I'm going to braid that previous braid into this one so that I have a more natural looking part it's not 
you know, going all the way to the back of my head when I install the hair. And it just helps make the install look a little more realistic. So I'm adding that second braid into this third braid and I'm gonna braid all the way down. And when I get to maybe a um, three fourths of the way complete with this braid, I'm gonna add the ends of my first braid up and in, in, up and into this braid. And I pretty much keep going on from there. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have two half braids in the middle section, and then it's gonna, they're gonna join into a single braid towards the back. And then I just repeat this um, style on the other side. So that I can also part it on the other side of my head. That is my braid pattern. We got five chunky, five chunky braids in the back and eight braids in the front to get a nice install. I'm excited. All right. Let's get into the install. So I have my crochet, crochet needle and I hook it underneath my corn roll with the latch closed and then you open up the latch, you hook on the piece of hair, close the latch once that's hooked in there securely. Um, and then you don't need the crochet needle to do this. I just, it's been a minute. I'm a little rusty. So that's what you're seeing right now. I'm making this a harder job for myself than I need to. So don't be like me. You can use your hands and take the ends of the hair and put it through. Um, <laughs> put it through the, the little loop and then twist it and repeat, I looped it around, I looped the hair through three times. Don't worry, I'm gonna come up closer and re-explain this in a much easier way. So my second attempt, my, my memory came back and I remembered how, you know, you're supposed to do this. So like I said, you hook the crochet needle underneath your corn roll, hook on the hair and pull that hair through you open up the loop, pull the ends of the crochet hair through, twist the loop, and then pull it back through the other way. Twist the loop again, and then pull back one more time, and then push the knot as close to your braid as possible. And then I just, you know, give it an extra tug so that it's secure. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time, a little more sped up. And I did this technique throughout the back of my hair where the, my parts are not. Next, I'm gonna show you how I did the invisible knot that makes my um, install look a little more realistic. And then I'm here, I'm just showing you guys that I use a mirror to kind of see where I need to fill in the areas of the back that I cannot see. So here we are. My face is serious because I'm about to get into it. So basically you take the hair like you usually do. Attach it to the hook. Close the latch. Pull it through. And then instead of putting both of them through the loop, you're going to put one strand. Cairo, what are you doing? Cairo. Boom. What 
probably not. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer and explain one more time. So I am pushing the hook through. So this is the right side of my head. I'm pushing the hook through the bottom of this braid towards the part that I actually want displayed or on show. And you know, do the regular thing, hook on the hair, pull it through. And now the difference is instead of pulling through both strands, we're only gonna pull through one strand. And I think I still loop it through about I loop it through about three times and then pull and then that top strand is going to come over top and kind of conceal the knot. And then I just wanted to again show you guys coming from the other side of the part. So this time I'm going through the top of the braid. Again, I want the hook going towards the part that I want shown when you do the invisible knots. So on the so on the other side of the part this is how you get the knot to be invisible on this side if that makes sense <laughs> this method makes the style look a little bit more realistic in my opinion and i did this um invisible knot technique on three sections of my hair. So on this side, for this side part, I did it in the middle two braids where they connect and then I did it on the other side so I can switch it up on that side as well. And now I'm going to show you guys the final results. touch up usually for like to cover up graves I'm just gonna spray my roots of the part so it kind of blends a little bit better I guess sis was so pumped that she got her hair done she forgot to record the outro so thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one